Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we are gonna check out my new friend here, the Sunzera 20 Combo Amp from Paul Reed Smith. Now, if you've been seeing the recent coverage of the Sunzera Combo and thinking to yourself, Man, this looks familiar. You're not alone. This is uh, basically a reissue, a retooling of the original Sunzera amplifier that came out a few years ago. PRS pulled it back and they worked on it and basically, you know, COVID happened and all this kind of stuff. But it's back because this was actually a pretty popular amp a few years ago upon its original release and for good reason. Now, before we go any further, you can consider this a sponsored video as Paul Reed Smith has loaned me this amplifier to show you guys. However, all thoughts and opinions are mine. Now, as the name would imply, the Sunzera 20 is a 20 watt amplifier affair powered by two 5881 power tubes. And there is global reverb and global presence while the clean channel has bass, treble and volume controls. And the dirty channel has bass, mid, treble, dirt and volume along with a bright switch. And that's, that's pretty much it. Now the Sunzera 20 is powered by a Celestion V-type speaker, which I am a big fan of, especially for anything. It's good for high gain stuff, depending on the amplifier. However, I always thought the V-type shined best with clean and mid gain tones, especially it just really has kind of a, a classic rock sauce to my ears. And it's perfectly suited for the Sunzera 20 circuitry, which I would best describe as kind of uh, PRS's take on something like a Fender Blues Junior-ish. I'm not saying it's a copy of that, but I'm just trying to give you some kind of a reference for the kind of tones and the kind of usability you can expect with the Sunzera. Now, I'm not sure what they're calling the combo configuration, but I would call the rear a semi-open back because it's not totally open and it's not totally closed. What this is basically gonna mean is you're gonna get some pretty decent low end out of this combo um, that you wouldn't maybe necessarily get with a totally fully open combo design. I think this is a good call. It adds a lot of room and adds a lot of bigness and low mids to the clean tones, especially.
Now the back panel is pretty sparse. However, you will notice that there is an effects loop as well as external bias points, meaning you don't have to pull the chassis out of the amplifier cabinet to, uh, to bias and change out the power tubes. Combo amps typically uh, beat up the power tubes a little bit more just because of their proximity to the speaker. External bias points are very welcomed for me. Thank you, PRS. Thank you, Doug Sewell. Now let's talk about the spring reverb. The spring reverb is a three spring reverb. I find this reverb to be very, very lush and roomy and not as snappy as say something like an old Fender, which I actually like. It's a little rounder sounding, a good top end. However, it's a little bit more washy than you would maybe expect on a twin reverb or something like that. It's very, very nice. And also it's very usable throughout the entire dial. You don't get topped out right when you crack at it like nine o'clock. You still have lots of room and lots of throw on the pot to kind of dial in any amount of flavor and sauce that you would like. All right, so what do I think? This combo runs for about a thousand bucks. And if you are in the market for a low powered, you know, very full featured, very full sounding combo, definitely check out the Sincera 20. I do wanna note that I've been comparing this a lot to some of the Fender combos, which I am more familiar with as a point of reference. I wanna note that immediately when you plug into the Sincera 20, the throw, the volume of the channels is very gradual and very, very nice. The one thing, and actually, to be honest, the main reason I, I got rid of my uh, Fender Blues Junior was the volume on those channels was blasting if I just cracked it. If I even looked at it and gave it a little, I was, I was blowing my ears out and that drove me nuts about that particular amplifier series. So the Sincera 20 is a very gigable, low watt, full sounding combo. And if you are into anything from clean to classic rock, this combo's for you. I will link down below in the description if you'd like to know more information on all things PRS amplifiers. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.